Hey guys, this is Sam, and if you've been paying attention to Apple News lately, then you know that there's an Apple special event happening on Thursday of this week, two days from this video going live on October 27th of 2016. However, we have new images of what they're probably going to announce on stage in two days that were leaked via the latest macOS Sierra public build. This wasn't found in something made by a developer or intended for developers. Someone was able to distract this from the latest public release of macOS Sierra, and they've given us a really nice look at what the new MacBook Pro will supposedly look like. Wow, there's so much that these images tell us, and I can't wait to talk about every single aspect of these images because it confirms and denies quite a bit about the new machine. Number one, as the rumors indicated, there is going to be this OLED touch bar. It looks black, and it replaces that F1 function row that you're used to seeing on a keyboard. Number two, we can clearly see in this specific image that Apple Pay is supported, which is not too big of a deal in its own by its own right, you know, Touch ID, or rather, Apple Pay is supported in macOS Sierra, but we can see that there's someone putting their finger on the touch bar as to pay using Apple Pay and Touch ID, which is kind of crazy that Apple was able to somehow implement this fingerprint sensor into the function row. I don't even know what to say about it. If they could somehow do that on the next iPhone, that would be insane, but I can't wait to test that part out for myself. Just having a Touch ID sensor on a MacBook is going to be ridiculous. Number three, there's no escape key. The keyboard itself looks like it's changed just a little bit. I saw somebody noted that on Twitter. Uh, the hinges up top, moving on to number four, are also a little bit different. I remember seeing a rumor, gosh, what feels like months ago, that the new MacBook was going, or the new MacBook Pro for this year, would feature a new hinge design. And from what we can see right here, that definitely looks to be the case. You can see it's black and then it's got silver right there on the right by the text MacBook Pro. Looks a little bit different. And that should be really interesting. And finally, the last thing that I picked up on, and number five, from what I've seen, and I think from what Mac Rumors has speculated from these images, this is a 13-inch Retina MacBook Pro. And instead of the speakers traditionally being placed inside the keyboard and kind of hidden like they usually are, they're now placed on the left and right in stereo form. I can't wait to test the audio, audio quality. I'm still holding out hope that one day Apple will incorporate the Beats technology into some sort of their speaker production line, but I guess one can dream for that. Regardless, the audio, audio quality should definitely go up with the redesigned position of these speakers and I can't wait to try it out. If you guys discover anything else that I missed in these photos, please leave a comment down below. I wanna go through these and make sure we didn't miss anything. But overall, the keys themselves on the keyboard look a little bit thinner. They'll probably feature that new butterfly mechanism like on the current MacBook. And although this image doesn't tell us anything about the width or height or length or weight of the MacBook, it's supposed to be a little bit thinner and lighter but I guess some things will just have to wait for Thursday. If you guys enjoyed this video, feel free to drop a like down below. And of course, do not forget to subscribe for all the latest on the new MacBook Pro. I've been Sam. I hope you guys are doing well, and I will talk to you later.